Hello and welcome back to Road Trivia, the once a day road trip trivia quiz. Today's episode, day number 352 of the 365 day trivia road trip. You've probably noticed that tomorrow is the end of the year and there's no way we're going to get all of these done. So we are going to continue into 2024 until I at least wrap up all 365 days. Anyways, random knowledge trivia quiz today. Let's get started. Question number one. His books focus on Jack Ryan, who rises from CIA analyst to become the U.S. President. The video games Ghost Recon and Rainbow Six are by his company. What is the name of this author of The Hunt for Red October and Op Center? The answer is Tom Clancy. Question number two. Its chemical formula is FES2. Technically, it's called iron sulfide or iron pyrites. It is shiny yellow and it occurs abundantly as a native ore. In popular terms, what is this common sulfide mineral called? If you find it, you might think you got lucky, but actually it's just fool's gold. Looks like gold, not gold. Question number three, Engelbert Humperdinck composed an opera about which two small children from a story by the Brothers Grimm in which the children foil the plans of a witch who wanted to eat them. What is the name of those two children which is also the name of the opera by Engelbert Humperdinck. The answer is Hansel and Gretel. Question number four, located in Washington, D.C., what is the full name of the structure that was erected in 1982 to commemorate the loss of 58,000 American lives between the years of 1959 in 1975. That is called the Vietnam Veterans Memorial. Question number five, the emission type emits its own light, such as the great one in Orion. The dark type obscures starlight behind it as observed with the horsehead one. The planetary type results from a supernova such as the crab one. What are these collections of gas in space called? The crab, the great one, the horsehead one, they are all nebulas. Question number six. Typically caused by an eye injury or from years of exposure to too much sunlight, what medical condition involves an opaqueness or clouding of the patient's eye lens? What is that called when a patient's eye lens gets cloudy? The answer is a cataract. Question number seven, his picture hangs in Tiananmen Square and he served as the chairman of the Chinese Communist Party from the establishment of the PRC in 1949 until his death in 1976. Who is this Chinese chairman? The answer is Mao Zedong, or Chairman Mao. Question number eight, established in 1209 by a group of scholars leaving the University of Oxford due to political conflicts, what is the name of the esteemed university that is the second oldest center for higher education in England?
they left the University of Oxford and they created the University of Cambridge. Question number nine. The main division of Canada is, of course, provinces, while the former USSR was divided into republics. What are the names for the primary divisions of the country of Germany? Canada is divided into provinces, the USSR was into republics, and Germany is divided into states. Question number 10. In Albert Einstein's famous equation, E equals MC squared, the E stands for energy, while the M stands for mass. What does the constant C represent that is something that is approximately 186,000 miles per second? The answer is the speed of light. Question number 11. In 1814, after the British burned America's Capitol building and the Library of Congress, what man's collection of books became the foundation for the present day Library of Congress? The man who donated all of his books was Thomas Jefferson. Question number 12. Common to boxers, rugby players, and wrestlers, what is the condition called when blunt trauma or other injury causes a blood clot in the ear that causes the outer ear to swell and become deformed? The answer is cauliflower ear. Question number 13. The Mediterranean Sea, the Red Sea, and the Gulf of Suez surround the Sinai one. What is this geographical term for a region that is surrounded by water on three sides, such as the state of Florida? The answer is a peninsula. Question number 14. He was the fifth batter of the ninth inning. Cooney and Burroughs were out, but Flynn and Blake got hits, causing the crowd to hope their hero could save the day. Who is this man who struck out, causing Mudville to lose the game in an Ernest Thayer poem? That poem is called Casey at the Bat. His name was Casey. Question number 15. The ACA is the American Association of what kind of doctor that specializes in pain reduction and health maintenance through manipulations of the spinal cord and other joints in the human body? The ACA, the American Association of what kind of doctor? The answer is chiropractors. Question number 16. These objects may be detected because gas falling towards them becomes so hot that it emits x-rays. What is the name of this object thought to form from the collapse of stars whose gravity is so great that nothing can escape from it? The answer is a black hole. Question number 17, set in both London, England and in Paris, France. In which Charles Dickens work does Madame Defarge knit 
while enemies of the French Revolution are executed. This should be a pretty easy one if you consider that it is set in both London, England and in Paris, France. This is like a gimme. It's a tale of two cities. Question number 18. She postponed her execution by telling her husband Shariar a story each night, but then saving its climax until the following day. Who is this woman of Arabian Nights who told a thousand and one tales? Her name was Scheherazade. Question number 19. A sociological term from Tonga, meaning forbidden. It describes a practice which is prohibited in a society. What is this term that is also a board game in which certain words are not allowed to be said? That term is taboo. Question number 20. Although the design wasn't adopted until 1968, what are the two animals that are featured on the national flag of Mexico that symbolize the centuries-old origins of the country's Aztec heritage? Those two animals are the eagle and the snake. All right, that is it for today. Thank you for watching today's episode of Road Trippia. And like I said at the beginning of the episode, I know that I'm not going to be able to finish 365 episodes before tomorrow. So we will be spilling into 2024 a little bit to wrap up the 365 day trivia road trip. After that, I'm not really sure what the plan is. Little Quizlet is coming in about a month, so I won't be doing everyday trivia, but I do have big plans for the future of this channel, so subscribe if you want to play trivia. We do have 1,300 plus episodes on the channel already if you want to go back and play some of those. And get ready because here comes question 21, the tiebreaker for today. The quote, don't drink the Kool-Aid is strongly associated with the events in Jonestown, Guyana on November 18th, 1978 in which how many members of the People's Temple Movement actually drank the Flavor-Aid and died? It wasn't Kool-Aid, it was Flavor-Aid, and over 918 people died in what was called the Jonestown Massacre. That is it for today. Thank you for watching today's episode of Road Tripia. Remember, if you want one of the last available uh, road trip kits, they're for sale right now on eBay. We've had some sell for over 50 bucks, and then one last night sold for 12 bucks. So they're in the auction format, and they all start at one penny, so you might get lucky and score yourself one for really cheap. Check the links in the description below. They're available on eBay, but only until like January 4th, I think. All right, that's it. See you tomorrow for another quiz.